Analytica Tutorial Chapter 1 Open a Model to Browse Is it more cost effective to buy or rent? In this lesson, we'll tour the Rent vs. Buy model, an Analytica model that compares the cost of renting a house to the cost of buying one. We'll open an existing model, use it to calculate results, change input values and recalculate results, and look at different ways to display uncertain values. You can launch Analytica from the Windows menu. In this lesson, I'm following Chapter 1 of the Analytica tutorial. This tutorial is available in written form, which you can access by clicking Analytica tutorial on the intro screen or from the help menu. Watching this and other Analytica tutorials is a good way to develop a feeling for what awaits you when you start using Analytica but there's no replacement for hands-on experience. Thus, I highly recommend that after you finish each video, you go back and follow the tutorial, performing the steps yourself. Now let's open the model. We're going to use this model, so you can open it by simply clicking here. However, since I want you to learn how to access models that don't appear on the intro screen, I'll open it this time by going to the File menu and selecting Open Model. Next, click on Example Models, which jumps to a folder containing several dozen example models organized into subfolders. The model we want is in the tutorial models, and in here we want the rent versus buy model. When you open a model, Analytica first displays a top level diagram window. This diagram shows several entry boxes, two normal buttons, a calc button, and a node labeled model. Across the top of the screen is a horizontal palette of buttons. This is called the Tools Palette or Toolbar. When you first open the Rent vs. Buy model, the Browse tool is highlighted on the palette. With the Browse tool selected, the cursor looks like a hand when it's over the diagram. The Browse tool allows you to calculate the model, change input values, and examine, but not change, the structure of the model. If you wanted to change the model itself, you would need to enter edit mode. But for this lesson, we are only going to use browse mode. In this diagram, the result of interest is at the bottom, present value of buying and renting. I'm going to leave all the inputs alone for the moment and click the calc button. This computes and displays the output value in a result window. There is uncertainty in both the cost of buying and renting. And so what we're seeing here is a probability density graph. The probability distribution for each quantity appears as a bell-shaped curve. The negative values on the x-axis denote cost, in other words, cash flowing out of my pocket. The positive values show where I might actually make a profit, which might happen if property values increase after I buy the house. The k after each number in the x-axis stands for thousand. Numerical suffixes like k and mu are used extensively in Analytica because they turn out to be extremely nice when looking at very large or very small numbers. Now let's click on the diagram window and bring it back into focus. Notice that the Calc button has now changed to say Result. This indicates that the result is computed. So if I were to click it, it would just reshow the computed value. Now let's change some of the inputs and recompute the Rent versus Buy comparison. Let's change the time horizon to seven years, the monthly rent to $1,400, and the buying price to $180,000. Notice that the result button has switched back to say calc. This indicates that the result needs to be recomputed. I'm going to push it, and here we're seeing the recomputed result. Now it looks like the cost of renting is somewhere between 90 and 120,000, and the cost of buying is somewhere between about 135,000, up to where we'd actually make a profit of about 25,000. There's a very small probability we might see a gain as high as 70,000. When an input is defined as a probability distribution, a button with the name of the distribution appears to the right of the input's name. So the button for rate of inflation says normal, indicating it's defined as a normal distribution. When you click on that button, the object finder opens. This is a window that lets you look at the details of this distribution, such as its description and its parameters, which you could also change here. Right now, it says we have a normal distribution with a mean of 3.5 and a standard deviation of 1.3. So I'm going to change that to be a uniform distribution 
where all possible values between 3 and 4 are equally likely. Those are in percent per year units. So the rate of inflation is between 3% per year and 4% per year. Now we'll recompute the result for present value of buying versus renting. And again, we have two curves. Now you can see that the uncertainty for renting has substantially narrowed. It looks like it's between $105,000 and $109,000 now. There are several ways to visualize uncertainty and we're going to explore several of those views. Up here at the top corner is the uncertainty view pop-up menu. Right now, we have the probability density selected. I'm going to go ahead and select cumulative probability. Again, we have the two curves. The red is buying and blue is renting. The vertical axis is the probability that the true value is less than or equal to the corresponding value on the horizontal axis. So there's a 60% probability that the present value of buying would be less than negative 60,000. Since negative means a cost, that means there's a 60% probability that the true cost would be more than $60,000. Sometimes you might want to see a result expressed as a single number. When you select mid value, Analytica computes the deterministic value by fixing all of the input probability distributions at their median values. So this computation basically computes the values by ignoring all the uncertainty. This is the only mode on the uncertainty view pop-up that doesn't take uncertainty into account. Below the uncertainty view pop-up are these two other buttons, a table button and a graph button. The table button takes us to a table view, a spreadsheet-like depiction where you can see the actual numeric values. You can look at the mean, which here is slightly different from the mid value, you can look at statistics to see other summary metrics like standard deviation. And finally, we can look at the actual sample value. So here we're seeing 100 randomly generated scenarios showing what the cost of buying and renting were in each scenario. Okay, in this lesson, we've seen how to find and open an analytica model, find the example models, calculate results, change input values and probability distributions, and visualize uncertainty in various ways. These are all basic techniques when using any quantitative model. Once again, I recommend that you try these steps yourself. You'll learn a lot more by doing than by watching. When you create your own models, you may want to give them a top-level user input-output panel like the one used in the buy versus rent model. For information on how to do that, look at chapter nine in the user guide. In the next tutorial lesson, you'll navigate the details of the rent versus buy model and see how it actually works. Thanks for watching.